ladies and mostly gentlemen today we're going to be checking out the worgen heritage armor which is coming to the game in patch 8.3 originally it was meant to be coming in patch 8.2.5 but it got delayed and it's now coming in 8.3 and we finally get our first look at it on the ptr so the requirements for this are basically just being exalted with gilneas and having a 120 worgen uh there is a unlock scenario which is really really cool we actually did it on stream today follow the stream twitch.tv slash mr gm and you would have seen it uh so yeah yeah, really cool scenario, not going to spoil anything, but yeah, definitely a really fun scenario to do. So, obviously this armor does work on a worgen and a human form, so let's just jump straight in and take a look at the armor a little closer. Okay, so obviously there is some issues with this. I've seen all over Reddit. People aren't that happy with it, but for me personally, I don't actually think it's the worst. Now, don't get me wrong, there's much better things I could have done with this, and we'll get to that in a bit, but specifically, this armor is so much better once you take off the shoulders on the set, and obviously you can now hide your shoulders. So yeah, this set just looks a ton better with the shoulders hidden and obviously with heritage armor they always feel the need to do shoulders with them so i felt like they were kind of forced into it as such and uh, it wasn't really designed with the shoulders in mind so yeah i am actually a bit of a fan of this set i actually think it looks way way better in the human form of course but it is nice to see those long coats finally coming to other races as opposed to humans as you can see with the walking form uh, it kind of draping down over the sides there uh, there's a lot of actually missable details here as well You've actually got that rose uh, on the front of the jacket there. Unfortunately, that isn't a 3D asset that would have actually been really cool, but the collar and the back and a lot of parts of this set are actually using the collection's 3D assets, which we've seen on some of the tier gear. You can kind of get a breakdown of how much of this is using that when you go to change race and you can actually see that it's not supported by the other races and it actually looks really, really strange. So yeah, you've got the belt, you've got the jacket, you've got the gloves, uh, a ton of stuff going on with this set and as I said it looks a lot better on the human form but it's not too bad on the worgen form. However, the top hat. Now the top hat is a good idea and it looks great on humans but on the worgen unfortunately it clips pretty bad with the ears and that is such a shame because it is a armor specifically designed for this race and we've seen this before with some of the heritage armor where it has clipped on the set and it is unfortunate to see not sure what they could have done with this it's, it's a bit of a difficult situation with the design of the wargans at the top hat but from you know at a glance it's not the worst and i think personally they definitely should have gone with potentially like a few different colors of this set as well. I feel like the gold and blue is a little random for Gilneas. There's definitely different shades and color palettes that they use throughout Gilneas, and this one not really being one of them in my opinion. Uh, this also does have a dress variant as well if you are a caster, so you don't have to wear the trouser version, but come on, let's be let's be honest. The, the trouser version is way better than the caster version. So that's pretty much this set. Now, the one thing I did want to mention real quick was someone on Twitter actually was pretty annoyed about this. Now, he is a modder, and he actually does some incredible stuff over on Twitter. His Twitter handle is Rockus Modding, and he did some great stuff with this heritage armor. He actually made a Gen Greymane armor that works on Wargans, and it looks freaking fantastic, guys. So I'm going to leave a link to his Twitter. He does a lot of cool stuff with WoW armor, and I implore you to go and check out his Twitter. He does some cool stuff, and that Wargan set just looks so damn good. I really wish they went with the kind of Gen Greymane type 
armor because it just looks so awesome. You can really see it, you know, he shows it in game and, and it's just such a shame that they kind of let that pass by. But this is the PTR. There is a chance that it might be subject to change. There could be some extra bits they might be adding to the set, but we will see in due time. So that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know down below what you think of the set, uh, what you think should be changed, if you're not happy with it or whatever. I would love to know what you guys think. Uh, so before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. We've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members, and I'm now streaming on Twitch.tv. As I said, today we streamed the 8.3 PTR for hours and hours, checking out absolutely everything. So if you want to check me out on stream, Twitch.tv slash MrGM. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you.